Hey guys, Ogzia from the US. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. Happy Friday to you or happy whatever day you're gonna watch this video, man, because it's gonna still valuable, okay? My videos are always valuable even after years because it's gonna just make sense one day. Anyways, guys, I hope you doing good and you are ready for the weekend because we have a lot of football and Chelsea are going to play. That is another video that is going to come right after this one. So let's talk about uh, Kai Harvard, the man himself and many sources from Spain, Marca and Mundo Deportivo and also reported by many uh, newspaper in Germany and even England. They are saying now that uh, Real Madrid are in front for Kai Harvard. Oh my gosh, one day ago it was all about Bayern Munich and Chelsea were left away, right? And today it's all about Real Madrid. Well, you have to understand the business that we are in. Okay, so don't believe in anything and everything you hear. A lot of fake news out there, a lot of clickbait out there, and Marca are not known as a good source in Spain at all. The same newspaper always link Kylian Mbappe, Neymar to um, Real Madrid every single transfer window even before the transfer window they always like find some crazy crazy uh information to to talk about and never ever materialize so uh you have to be very very careful about those kind of sources and the proof is look at what happened to timo verna transfer window he was also linked with uh, bayern munich uh, Barcelona, PSG, you know, um, Bayern, Liverpool, and all the big clubs in the world. But at the end, he ended up by signing for Chelsea Football Club. So that tells you that, you know, anything is possible in football and you have to wait until the last minute and you see the player holding the jersey and sending the message just like uh, Timo Werner did to Chelsea fans and you're gonna confirm that he's your player or not. So I'm not gonna pay too much attention right now to all the news that's going on around about uh, Kai Harvard. We are on it. We got the money. We got the boss who is determined to, you know, take Chelsea back again to the level that we deserve and we are in a good position negotiation still going on and don't get discouraged okay until the last minute you have to keep your faith and believe that we have a chance just like anybody else to sign Kai Harvard I told you uh, since last year I have everything on the record I told you at the time uh, that uh, Timo Werner could still for uh, sign for Chelsea Football Club. Keep faith, regardless of all the news and all the interview that uh, uh, Timo Werner gave at the time, you know, pretty much telling uh, Liverpool to come and get him and all that. I was always making videos and say, we have a chance, we still on it even though we had maybe one percent chance to get him but hey look what happened timo verna is a blue and kai harvard could be the next blue and him liking you know uh everything that were, were going on in the chelsea community uh yesterday just shows you like hey now we have even more chance to get him because of Timo Werner and Tony Rodiga and London now is you know the destination to go man because all your friends are moving uh, to London and 
you know Bayern don't want you anymore just the way they did with uh, Timo Werner so he's going to think again he's going to think twice before he refuses to come to Chelsea Football Club it's not gonna be easy just like in Timo Werner's case but anything is possible the same fake sources fake news are reporting that uh, uh, Real Madrid been a dream for Kai Harvard to play for well few days ago uh, you know Bayern was the dream for Kai Harvard apparently and remember Liverpool was apparently the dream for Timo Werner but the interview that uh, Timo gave at the time was just saying you know Liverpool is a good club they are the best in the world and he didn't lie he was just praising a very good team and he was honored to be linked with them and everybody pretty much interpreted the way they wanted it to be but hey you can love the club without playing for that club right so Kai Harvard still 20 years old he needs just to play football somewhere Maybe after five years at the bridge, he can move just like Eden Hazard and go to Spain or something like that. I don't wish that, but hey, I don't see him really going to Madrid at the moment with Vinicius Jr., Eden Hazard, you know, Rodrigo. He knows that he's, he has time, only 20 years old, you know. He has nothing to rush. He can come to the bridge play his football, win the Champions League with the Blues, win couple, I don't know, or three Premier Leagues and a lot of other cups. And then if Real Madrid is his dream, according to what the media are trying to make us believe, he can move when he's 28 or 29 and can still have a good career at, at uh, Real Madrid. But I don't believe on all those uh, BS fake news clickbait but because Bayern don't have money and they want to prioritize somebody else instead of uh, Kai Harvard that also could make him think what happened to Timo Werner last season and he could uh, reject them and switch to the blue side of London so stay calm stay tuned in this channel because I always, you know, keep you updated about everything. Another boring news is about Engolo Kante to Real Madrid. Well, are you guys surprised? No, I'm not, because it's the same sources. Marca, Mundo Deportivo, The Sun, blah 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 Chelsea want to raise found in order to get Kai Harvard blah 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 every single window Kante is linked with PSG Barcelona Real Madrid Juventus you name it I'm not surprised because it's Kante right and because of uh, the injuries and everything that happened to him, people are assuming that Kante is going to be sold. But hey, if you gonna wait for Kante to be sold, you are going to wait for a very long time because it's not going to happen. This is just another fake news, clickbait, boring, boring boring if you ask me because it's not gonna happen i don't see us getting uh world-class players to come to the team and take us to the next level and sell our own world class that we have in the team right now you believe it or not kante is a world class and he's going to show people what he's capable of next season Injuries are just temporarily. He didn't have any bad injury or something. It was just like getting forced to come back quickly and do, you know, the job for everybody in the team. But 
hey you hate kante or not it's gonna it's not gonna change anything it's not because you want him out and go by ndd or whatever because you want a quick success and you think that kante is not good enough now because he got injury well think again brother think again because it's not gonna happen so uh and they say that we have to to find money in order to finance uh kai harvard and other targets come on guys the financial fair play is suspended for one season do we really need money chelsea football club do we really have to sell in order to buy a player no it doesn't work like that at chelsea we have an owner who is worth more than 15 billion and he always give money to chelsea and of course we are going to pay the money back one way or another that is what many people and many experts in the community don't understand that money from abramovich is not for free he's going to get his money one way or another but i already spoken about this for you know many many times and people tend not to to understand the basics of finances but i don't i don't i don't expect anybody to understand finances because it's it's a little complicated for many people but i tell you what we don't really have the money in the bank the money from eden hazard murata and blah 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 it's already spent the money is gone we covered a lot of a lot of expenses during this pandemic we had to pay the women team 100% of their money academy all levels 100% of their money we have also staff to pay the stadium staff we have um we have also debt you know that's why abramovich had to give his own pocket money last season to cover some of the expenses but i'm not gonna get there let the expert explain to you what do you wanna what you wanna hear but i'm not here to to sell you fake news but all i know is that we have a rich owner abramovich who is going to give us a lot of money to get on the market and get whoever we want and that money is going to be reimbursed one way or another in the future so we don't need money we don't need to sell anybody but we are going to sell a lot of dead wood a lot of people from the lone army just so we can free some wages you know what i'm trying to say but kante is going to stay at the club and he is going to be part of the new revolution thank you for watching think outside the box and see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.